Well, I just tried to make the requirements of my bill comparable to the requirements uh, of women. And every year, like I said, we go back to try and tighten and, and, and uh, impose more restrictions on women's reproductive rights. And I just don't think that that is our place as elected officials to do that. And so, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I guess you could consider it tongue in cheek. But like I said, it's no laughing matter for women who have been dealing with this issue for years. This bill really isn't about erectile dysfunction, but it is about gender equity. And it is about uh, my belief that government has no place making the decisions for women or men when it comes to abortion or erectile dysfunction. Uh, I think in a male-dominated legislature like ours, it's not likely to pass uh, the full House. I'm hopeful that we are able to get it past uh, the full committee, get it passed in or by the full committee. And, um, you know, just looking forward to continuing that conversation. It's, it's already done exactly what I wanted it to do, and that is to broaden the discussion, expose the hypocrisy, and ultimately, you know, if I had my way to get government out of these very important and very private decisions.